Hi, it's Mike from Pretzels Expert, and today I'm going to take a look at the Acon Digital Equalize plugin. Well, it's a very nice, clean, simple display. We've got our graphical interface here. We can get hold of uh, sections. So here's one band. We can adjust the cue, but we can also do something that you perhaps haven't seen in other equalizers. You can see there we've got this band but it's now got a sort of flattened top so we can boost a particular range but not have a specific peak so that's a very interesting new little feature in the Acon Digital Equalize plugin so I'm just going to hit the reset button to just reset that back to scratch so we've got a selection of different uh, filter types here. We've got our low cut or high pass, depending on which way you want to describe it. We've got some shelving, uh, our usual parametric cue. We've got a notch filter, which is really useful for notching out problem areas. We've got a high shelving and then our high cut or low pass filter as well with the associated range of controls. But we've got a single band that's all we've got here, number one. To get additional bands, we just keep hitting the plus button. So now we've got another band. And if I hit an, on there, we've now got another band. So we could make that a high cut filter. So we've got lots of different options there. So let's go back to the reset. And uh, let's have a listen to a kick drum. So one of the first things I want to do with this kick drum is just give it a bit more of a click. You can see there, you can start to see the shape. Maybe we'll just narrow it down. And the analyzer here is showing me the difference. The, the lighter gray color is the input here. And then we've got the analyzer output in green. So we can see, even on the spectrum analyzer, exactly what I'm doing. And then let's add another band and perhaps just give the low end a bit more solidness. So now let's move on to a bass guitar. One of the things just sort of warm up the nice bass sound. And we'll add another band because I like my bass guitar to have a bit of a click to it. find a click, maybe narrow that down a little bit. So that's all very uh, normal. Now I'm going to add one more band, so we'll hit the plus button here, and I'm going to make it a low cut filter, a high pass filter, and then let's now make it much steeper. You can see now that I can actually make it up to 120 dB per octave, which is very, very steep. So let's move on and take a listen to what we can do with a piano sound. So this is now a stereo piano. Again, I can take that first band. I can add another band. Add a further one, maybe just brighten up the top end a little bit. Maybe I'll we'll turn this first one into shelving. At the moment we're processing 
both channels the same. We're using this process both channels mode. But you can see here that we've got the options to process just the left hand channel with this band, just the mid, so we've got MS, so we can do separate channels or we can do MS processing. It may well be that for this band, I can go into S and actually I can take out some of the low end in the S channel. So if there's low end that's starting to spill across both channels, so it's sort of uh, got stereo width in the low end, by using this low shelving control, I can actually get rid of that image width in the low end. And in fact, there are a range of uh, presets up here as well. So if we go into the stereo processing, you can see here that we've got low side reduction. So that's now set us up a low shelf filter. Only in the side. Now, of course, I can add another band. And I can brighten up the top end, both channels. Another band, and maybe just warm up the low end, both channels, whilst leaving the S, just taking out the low side reduction. So again, very, very versatile EQ module here. So I hope that's given you an insight into this great little Equalize plugin from Acon Digital. As with all the Acon Digital plugins, very well designed, very clean, lovely interface, simple and easy to use. And most importantly, they are very cost effective. So in the Acon Digital restoration suite, we've got the Denoise module, the Declip module, a Dehum module, and a declick module. So let's go back to the denoise module and I'm going to use the audio suite one for the moment. This is one of my standard tests which actually although it sounds very simple is actually quite demanding on any denoising program. This is a typical example of a poorly recorded item using a dynamic microphone on a domestic mini disc recorder. And I have to say that is pretty impressive. So that's the denoise on something like pink noise. Now what about the denoise module on something like this? Hey, it's Russ here at NAMM 2012. I'm back with Bobby Lombardi. Bobby, some people don't know that you were, that you were one of the people behind 11 Rack and all of that kind of stuff. Are you a, a closet rocker? And tell us all about how that all happened. I'd like to think that most of the people that were from Digidesign uh, and uh, as that transitioned to app. So there you go. Uh, that again is remarkably impressive. So that's a quick look at the denoise module. Now let's move on to the dehum module. So again, back into the audio suite menu and the dehum module. And this particular example has a lot of hum, almost a hum to signal ratio. And also there are a lot of harmonics. For G, somehow, that news but again, this is absolutely movie. spectacular. And brought up a gear for inner strength. Um, very, very she impressive. Set herself the targets. So that's the D hum module. So here's an example of a vinyl record with a nasty click in it. So let's go into the D click. In fact, on the audio waveform, you can see the clicks. So now let's have a look to see what we can do. So let's preview it. And take a look at one of the presets. So we're going to repair vinyl preset. Already, without me doing anything, it's taking a significant amount of the clicks away. We just listen to the bypass. back again 
so we can adjust the clip length and also the click sensitivity but that preset already gives me a very very good setting so that's the declick module so finally let's look at the declip module the one for reducing distortion so into declip you know takes you away from the people that you love like and you can hear that that's got quite a gritty sound to it if we just zoom in to that clip you can see there the distortion that where it's the tops are being clicked off so let's just render that and you can see there all the tops of the waveforms if i just go undo there it is all sawn off redo and we're back you know it takes you away from the people that you love like and it's taken all that grittiness away very simple to use very effective I'm very, very impressed with this series of plugins from Acon Digital, the restoration suite, the declip, the declick, the dehum, and the denoise. And normally, all of that for just under $100 is an absolutely amazing price. So, bang for buck, this is a really, really good little package. I'm going to take a look at a very interesting algorithmic reverb plugin from the guys at Acon Digital called Verberate. Okay, so here's a session. Uh, we've got drum kit with a specific reverb. We've got a full string section, two complete passes of a string section, and I've got a reverb for the string section. And then I've also got a reverb specifically for the vocal. So let's take the opportunity to have a look at how Verberate handles these different types of audio. So here is the instance that I've got on the drum sub. So if we just hit the solo. So I've chosen a preset, the drum room preset, and see how it sounds. To me that's working really nicely, but uh, just to prove it, I'm just going to mute the reverb return. I'm back. And that to me just added all that I needed for the drum kit in this particular song. So that's looking at the plugin for drums. Now how about strings? So let's just unsolo those and then we'll solo the two groups of strings, two passes of strings and we open up the reverb and let's play a bit of the strings. Again I've used this preset called Lush Hall. Now this particular plugin is actually in line with the strings so it's going into my strings sub and then so it's actually in the subgroup channel for my strings section. So let's take a listen to how it performs. Pass. So that's the strings as they were recorded in the space. And again, what I love to do with reverb is just hit the stop button and see what the decay sounds like. So here we go. Very nice indeed. So that's just give you a sense of the sort of sounds that it can produce on strings. As I say, I just use this lush hall lots of other presets that you can click through and of course you can create your own settings and then save them as a preset. So what about the vocals? So if we just take the solo off the strings tracks and take a look at the vocal line. Of the name El Shaddai, El Shaddai, and I've used a very simple medium hall we will praise and I just love the sound as it decays away. Of the name El Shaddai, so how do they all El sound Shaddai, together in context? Adonai, we will praise and lift you high, El Shaddai. Through your love and through the son of Abraham through 
through the power of so let's move it to a later section where everything's really going Lovely. So that's a really nice sound. Simple interface, great sound, and a great price too. I'm going to take a look at the Acon Digital Deverberate. This is a plugin that helps you to reduce the reverb from existing recorded material. So in this first instance, what I want to do is to reduce the whole reverb. I'll just bypass it and you can take a listen to what we're dealing with here. Where Paul Robeson, uh, he sang, he gave concerts, uh, but uh, during the day it was a gymnasium. So there was an interview recording in quite a reverberant space. So we'll take the bypass off, take the reverb level right down, and we will start Where bringing this up. He sang, he gave concerts, uh, but during the day it was a gymnasium for rehabilitation for the patients because... You can see here now that now, just um, getting to the point where it's starting to have an impact. Where Paul Robeson, uh, he sang, he gave concerts... Uh, so if I overdo it, the day, then obviously we start to get artefacts. ...for rehabilitation for the patients because progress was being made now so on... I just check the injuries, bypass. ...especially that of the minor. Where Paul Robeson, uh, he sang, he gave concerts, uh, but during the day... It There's also this emphasis filter which we can enable and disable here so we'll have that on and you've got a low shelving filter the red one we've got a high shelving filter and then we've got two parametric type equalizers so we can create quite a complex shape so I'm going to start playing the audio and I'm going to play with this one because there's quite a bit of low mid reverb and so by pushing Robson. this uh, he sang, he gave concerts, uh, but uh, during the day it was a gymnasium for... I can focus it on that audio. ...because progress was being made now on industrial injuries, especially that of the minor. Where Paul Robeson, uh, he sang, he gave concerts, uh, but uh, during the day it was a gymnasium for rehabilitation for the patients because progress was being made now on industrial injuries, especially that of the minor. So here we are with bypass. Where Paul Robeson, uh, he sang, he gave concerts, uh, but... And the other thing the we can do is to adjust the spectral smoothing. So let's just bring Paul that up Robeson, a bit. Just to try and get rid of some of the artifacts. Concerts, uh, but during the day, it was a gymnasium for rehabilitation for the patients because progress was being made now on industrial injuries, especially that of the minor. And another feature in this plugin is the ability to use the difference monitoring. So this is what it's taking away. But during the day, it was a gymnasium. So again, that can sometimes help you make the adjustments. Because progress was being made now so we're only taking away the reverb elements. The so we'll take that difference back off. Where Paul Robeson, uh, he sang, he gave concerts, uh, but uh, during the day it was a gymnasium for rehabilitation for the patients because progress was being made now on industrial injuries, especially that of the... So that's one example of uh, deverberate being able to help dry up what was quite a reverberant recording. And I have to say, for the price, it's absolutely amazing. It's normally just a shade under $100, and when you compare that to the price of any of the other de-reverb type plugins, this is an amazing price. And as you've heard, it works remarkably well. See you again soon.